the honky tonk man has stated vehemently over the years that the guitar was is so gimmicked that he pushed his thumb into the back of it and was concerned it would break before he got to use it. I mean, I'm yeah, calling, right. I'm calling bullshit here because we yeah, just saw man. that clip and that guitar had no give. None at all, man. The first shot didn't budget at all. And my only problem with the shot was he hit me in the head with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was from the side. He caught me from the side. So it was a, it was a chicken shit shot. It wasn't right. Man, it's just absolutely brutal. And like I said, you know, watching it back now, it's like you just cringe seeing it. Because, uh, you know, you, you see Jeff Jarrett smash a guy with a guitar. and the Oh, my God, it turns into powder. It busts into a million pieces. And yeah. that one just looked like it didn't move a bit. Not until after he hit me across the back with it. But you can see that him hitting me across the back, he wasn't laying it in then. No, it's I, I think he saw that you were, you were hurt. Oh, and I was so, hurt. And so he's trying to ease up. Um, I was and, hurt bad. and he had to have known it. How could you not after you strike somebody with something and you feel that kind of a solid climb yeah. like he had to? Yeah, uh, it, was, he... Uh, it was brutal, man. Now, I know you've you've told the story uh, in the past. Uh, what, what was the exact damage that was done to your neck by this shot? C6 and C7 were, were completely turned to dust. Oof. They just uh, they, they exploded inside my neck and against my spinal cord. Um Lucky it didn't cripple me. Um, and I probably wouldn't have been as injured as I was, but I didn't quit wrestling. I kept on wrestling for two years mm -hmm. before I had the surgery. That's on me. But uh, the shot itself was on honky tonk. And then I'd like to say that, you know, I always liked honky tonk. I, I thought the gimmick was great. Uh, super gimmick and uh i liked what he did in the ring uh this is the things he does outside of the rings it causes problems for us and I, i'd like for it to stop it needs to stop before somebody else gets hurt you yes know, I'm, I'm not saying i'm going to do this or do that but i'm just uh you know you can only take so much and uh i need we need to let bygones be bygones if I can forgive you for hitting me with a bad shot, then you ought to be able to forgive me for anything I've said or done. So, and it's went both ways. We've both thrown some shit out there that shouldn't have been said, but, uh, you know, either we can stop it and get on with our lives or we can keep it going and no tell them what the fuck will happen. Cause when guys get old, they get tired. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you get tired, you do things that you normally probably wouldn't have done. And uh, I'm tired. And I'll just leave it at that. That's well said, Jake. You know, it's uh, it, as of as of right now, you know, we're talking about 36 years ago that this happened. So, yeah, what the fuck, man? Time to time to put it in the past, uh, you know. Any, old. Yeah, no. And, and I don't blame you. I know you've probably talked about this thing to death. So uh, hopefully this will mark the last. Uh, hopefully this will mark the last time you have to even discuss. Well, it. I will def I definitely know that it'll be the last time. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that works. Now it might be a silly that question. Or, that or when they arrest me for doing something else stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so it might be a silly question, but I think it is worth asking. Uh, do you think that there was any ill will on the part of Honky Tonk Man? I don't think so. Uh, I think he just you know he threw the shot in there and it looked like a good time to throw it. He did it. You know, I don't think that he was intentionally trying to hurt me. Uh, I just think he threw a bad shot. Yeah, I don't. I, I can't picture him going out there and saying like, "I think I'm going to try to end Jake's career." I'm trying right to cripple now. him, yeah. right? Yeah, there was, you know, there was the wall on one side of us. So it was me turning. He, he probably, he, you know, he threw it the only place he could throw it. Yeah, no, it's, you know, uh, to your point, there was kind of a, a restricted area. Yeah. Um, so he he threw it. He, he gave it his best. The guitar was not yeah. properly gimmicked. It, it just wasn't. is what it is. No doubt about that. And as a matter of fact, uh, Bruce Pritchard on his podcast that's in our network, Something to Wrestle, um, he explained that it was he was not yet with WWF at this time, but yeah. uh, later heard the story of what happened and uh, that it was a high quality guitar that was purchased for the angle. Yeah. Um, he said it was gimmicked in the sense that it was pre cut so that it would yeah. break more easily over Robert's head. But not enough. Uh, right. But there was an additional support rod as well, yeah. uh, which yeah. is referred to as a truss rod in the guitar that was yeah. not removed. Uh, so it made it made no, it. it was, I, I remember they them cutting it in the back. 
and not thinking about the fiberglass that was on it mm -hmm. because it was fiberglass over the wood. And my wife picked fiberglass out of my back for about two weeks. Oh God. And that shit you can't see. You'd have to, you had to lay a piece of cloth on it and drag it across it real slowly. Yeah. And then you'd find, you'd feel a piece. And then she has to take her fingers and try to feel it. Oh, so, just miserable. Yeah. Like, like having little shards of glass in your back. Yeah, exactly. Miserable. Exactly. I'm sure it was hard for you to sleep with that shit going on. You're on the road. You're hurt. Yeah. Yeah. You got glass in your back. Not glass, but fiber glass. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> just awful. And, you know, Bruce has also stated that following this incident, uh, he was taught how to properly gimmick a, a guitar so no such thing would happen again. So, I mean, yeah. you know, the fact that they're taking steps to gimmick guitars properly now just, you know, it, it, it indicates like this was not done correctly. You were put yeah. in a dangerous position. Sure as fuck was. Well, I should have I should have done what my lawyer said. Which was sue the fuck out of them. <laughs> Honestly, exactly what my lawyer said. There's there's an argument to be made that way He's, for sure. Get several million and never have to work again. Blah 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 blah. But I told him, I said, man, it's what I want to do. I want to wrestle. I want to mm -hmm. perform, man. I want to go out there and do this. That's my own fault. Well, it's it's your passion, you know, and yeah, so it was, it's, man. It and it's something, is. yeah, something that you're used to doing. 